Good afternoon everybody, how you doing? It's me Paddy from Cross the Shock and you are very welcome back to this Saturday morning in the UK. Um, today I'm going to be talking about this knife. It's my newest Spyderco and I now have a full set of Spydercos now. When I say a full set, I mean a collection. I have now got five and a half. I had four and a half, I've now got five and a half. I'll explain, don't worry, it's not confusing. It's just my sort of logic. At four and a half, I've now got five and a half, and five makes a collection in my books. We all know that. So anyway, what have I got? I've got a spider co. But what spider co have you got, Paddy? Well, this is a spider co I've had four or five times, and I keep rebuying it. But I think I've actually got the stage now where this is my last one. I have got the right one. And I have got five beautiful, beautiful spider co's. And I don't think I need any more. I think the five's enough. I can move back on to something else. So here we go. Let's talk about it. What is it? It is this little puppy here. And I'll just hold it up so you can see it. Look at that. What a beautiful looking knife. To me. This is the UKPK. The infamous, famous UKPK. I have had, and I think it's at least four or five of the the new model of this which has just got the basic leaf shape blade this has got the drop point with this beautiful little oh i don't know it's like a, a oh i don't know what would it be like a swallow coming down the land it's just beautiful i absolutely love the shape of the blade it's not sometimes i think the spider co leaf blades are, are just a bit they're efficient they're fantastic blades don't get me wrong nothing wrong with them as far as cutting goes but i also like aesthetics and the aesthetics on this just gives me the fizz i've got a lovely big piece of belly here i love this swoop down here i just love everything the point is absolutely on point um the risen bit here makes this when you grip it it is the most secure and safe grip and nearly all knives that I have, this is the most secure grip. And I can get a full four fingers because of this half and half choil up here. Um, which you don't get on the Delica. And this is about the same size as the Delica. Um, but you have that forward choil. It's a slip joint. But look, I'll put this down here. You can't close that in yourself because that's where it comes to. You know, that's never going to cut you. Look how far that is away from the cut area. So... Do not worry about it being a slip joint. It really has nothing. You would never hold this knife down here, in my opinion. This is meant, even if you had a small hand, you want to get up close to the blade on most. This is everyday tasks. This isn't any big chopping contest. It's any day. And the closer you are to that cutting edge, the more control I think you have on the knife. But this is it. This is the Spirico PK. And this is the Heine Haynes edition, which is in S30V. I think the base model now is in BD1N, um, which is another fine steel, but S30V, a bit of a step above. And this one is made in Golden, Colorado, USA, Earth. So there we have a USA made Spyderco. To me, uh, genuinely, I think this is better than the Delicate, just for that simple, this forward choil here, this nice bit of belly. There's a bit of interest to the blade. It's not just... Um, it's not just a, a, a straight leaf shape, for want of better words, because I haven't got them. This is in red G10. Perfect. Absolutely lovely. Um, it looks quite severe at the edges, but it's very, very comfortable in hand. And this pocket clip is quite low. As far as these um, uh, metal clips go, this is, sits quite low. So, yes, I can feel it, and it's sitting here in my palm, about here. But it's not digging in at all. And because of the rounded of the, of the wire clip, it really is comfortable. I could work away quite happily with that and not have any hot spots. If I was to use this kind of knife for a long period of time, which I probably wouldn't. Uh, but you could. And it's always nice to have something you can rather than something you can't. Um, definitely much better. So, yeah, I, I'm over the moon. I've only just got it. I've had it in my pocket since I got it. Um, I don't feel as if I need three weeks to tell you because I've had the same size knife with the same handle material about five times. But this blade shape beats it because I can get right down. You know, when I'm cutting a sandwich or I'm cutting anything, I'm not having the, the blade up here. I'm only the blade touching. This gives me a lot of belly to get down and cut through something. And uh, 
perfect perfect so and it's like brand new to be honest with you I, it was a, a subscriber of mine i forgot to ask it ask his permission but he knows who he is and i it was just he told me it was like new in box and that's exactly what it is like new in box the grind is great on it um i'll put a little sharpening choil in there because i'm intention to keep in this one so there'll be a little sharpening choil in there i might even do a wee video while i'm doing that it only takes a couple of seconds with a, a dremel but yeah absolutely perfect clip handle material blade material but aesthetically much much nicer than the, the updated version of this if you can get these i got this in a second hand market uh the young fella charged me uh 60 quid which is just a fantastic price i got it for a great price you know this is a definitely an older model so but it's in brand new it's like new in box um i'm really happy to pay that amount of money for it. i probably would have gone 10 pound more but it is a really fair price and it means you're you're keen to do business with somebody again when they're nice like that so there we go you'll never get that nice from me <laughs> so there we go so i'm going to show you i said to you i now have five and a half and I'll, I'll work down to the half and let you see the next one i'm going to show you i'm going to go up with you in size is the spidey chef just my one of my top favorite knives absolutely uh, you can see this one's been well used and battered i've got this second hand as well but it has had plenty of use since i've had it i use this in the kitchen love it use it when me and justin go camping that's what i used uh, it's just a super knife for slicing it's not ultra thin like a chef's knife but it's a spidey chef and it does it as good as i'm ever going to want to i can't do fancy shopping i just slice that's it so it's the perfect knife for me i love it lc200 completely stainless perfect for a camping or whatever you're away for a weekend you don't have to worry about making sure it's dry and all you can just throw it in a bag and that's it so i absolutely adore this this is another keeper they're probably all keepers i'll say in my head then the one that i got sort of i think it was a knife before this is this big beastie of a knife this is the endura but this one's in the big brown no it's not the big brown this is in k390 which is another amazing steel it has the cutting edge that just lasts it just doesn't seem to want to get blunt it is super really is uh i'm really chuffed with this i have to say not that you can see it well you sort of can't see it here i have been cutting with it and it just doesn't seem to want to it really genuinely does it just cuts and cuts and cuts it is sticky sharp and i mean sticky sharp i absolutely love this it came with this pocket clip on it thank goodness or was this the bench made no that might be a bench made that i put on it actually i think it is but it's a perfect bench made uh, and because it's this the the higher part of it is behind the end of my hand because it's such a big knife can you see that um that bit there is not in the fat of my hand so it makes this really comfortable super comfortable knife to use in cutting um really do like that and then we'll work down we'll get down to number four in size wise and this is another stunning knife <laughs> This is like the the drag a posh dragonfly because this is the little um little native or little native as it's called um this one had the pocket clip on it when it came you can see how high and deep that is but it's such a small knife again it sits in the in the meat of my hand there i can feel it there but for this knife i'm not going to be doing a huge amount of cutting this is just the perfect size and when this forward choil they they just nail it spider code that is comfortable easy to use that little knife would probably only sit like that with me anyway for cutting. But this is an S30V as well. Again, one of my favourite steels. And Spyderco, you you can nearly guarantee you that a Spyderco blade, when they tell you whatever it is, it will cut to that standard of that blade. They, they're trendsetters for getting it right. For getting it right, they're trendsetters. But I love this one. This is like a Sunday one. Small, goes in anywhere, wherever you want to put it. And then my last is uh, the last full blade is the spider coat kiwi and as daft as this is and these are all great cutters and great steels this is in 8 cr 13 and let me tell you see for a little knife you want to pull out a little knife what character does that have it's just there's not a pin in it there's not a screw in it 
it is just super i absolutely love this little knife it's <laughs> it is dinky it'll go anywhere it'll slide anywhere and again that half and half choil just kills the competition because it is perfect it is absolutely perfect there's nothing left out but i get a full four fingers grip so that would be my five which makes a collection but i did say i have one more and we'll have to go up to this end again not because not because i can't uh fit it in here but because it's this <laughs> the spider co bug and that is my five and a half spider co's and i don't i can't think of anything else that i need well i'm sure there's plenty i want but i don't think there's anything else i need i'm going to try and move on now and get another set of um i would say benchmade but i can't afford benchmade anymore simply just can't afford them they're just prices are asking are stupid but i might be able to get some in the second hand market i might even look for a proper again just for the the giggles but i'll not pay a whole lot for it because it's a crap knife but i just, I just it's, it's it's not a crap knife it's a lovely knife the the execution of the back spring just kills it for me but i might get one just to say i've got one in my carta hence if you're selling one at a stupid price I might just buy it off you. Hit me up. <laughs> so that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. But this, I would definitely say over a Delica. Yeah, absolutely. Plus you're going to get a G10, which I prefer over plastic. I mean, the plastic is great. It is good. But I'd still prefer a bit of G10, to be honest with you. Um, if push came to shove. There you go. That's me finished. Have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Um, is anybody interested? If, before you go, um, oh, by the way, please like, subscribe and comment before you leave. Hit the wee like button and subscribe. Ring the bell. Put the wee bell. Hit it a dingle. It means you'll get notified every single video that I put up. And comment lets me know whether you enjoyed it or you hated it. Would you like to see, since I got this one as a UK friend, would you like to see my small collection of um uk friendly modern slip joints um tomorrow if you would a few people hit me up in the comments i will definitely do that tomorrow for you because i've got a really nice mixed bag selection uh like i do with everything i'm not one for buying three or four or one pattern i like change so take care everybody i'm away now for definite bye <laughs>